Hey Prime Basics Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to move into the final question of the Primary 6 Foundation Math Assessment Paper 1 and it is a little challenging, if, especially if you have not moved into volume so much as yet. But it's okay, we're going to move into it right now. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy once you get a hold of it, okay? So let's take a look at the question. The question says the figure below shows an empty rectangular thing. Tank. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, the length is 80 cm, its breadth is 50 cm, but we are not given the height. So part A, it says, Zach pours 8 liters of water in the tank. What is the height of the water level? Ah, pretty, pretty cool. Okay, and part B, if the tank is now 1 quarter filled, how many more liters of water does Zach need to pour to completely fill the tank? Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so for part A, Zach pours 8 liters of water into the tank. So the first thing you need to understand is you need to find out what exactly is that in cm cubed. Now you are given 1 liter equals to 1000 cm cubed. So let's just first of all write down what that means. So 8 liters is actually equals to 8 times 1000 cm cubed, which will give you 8000 cm cubed, am I right? 8000 cm cubed. Now what do we know about volume? Now, volume is equals to, if you've learned this, length times breadth times height. But what do we understand about length times breadth? In this case, right, let's just draw this very quickly for you. Oh, that's a very bad rectangle. Hold on, yeah? Okay. So, I'm going to draw for you a better rectangle right now. Okay. So, let's just draw this rectangle here. Okay. And in this case, oh, there's a... <laughs> Don't comment on my, my drawings. Okay, so in this case, we have, um, what was the numbers again? The numbers were 80 and 50, right? Yeah. So 80 over here and 50 over here. So what is that? what does that give us? That is the area of what? The area of the base. In other words, the area of the bottom. So length time breadth actually gives you area or what we call a base area. That means underneath. Right? and then we multiply that by height, then we will get this. So if we already know that base area times height gives us 8,000 cm cubed, how can we solve this? In other words, 8,000 cm cubed is equals to 80 times 50 times height. Okay, And 80 times 50 will give you what? 4,000 and 8,000 here, and 4,000 times height, times height. That means 4,000 times what gives you 8,000? Very simple, right? All you have to do is take your height is actually equal to 8,000 divided by 4,000. And you cancel, cancel the numbers, the zeros. You will get what? 8 divided by 4, which is equal to 2. It's 2 what? 2 cm. Why? Because 8,000 is cm cubed and 4,000 is cm squared because of area. So you get 2cm without anything here. In other words, this is 1. Lah. So 2cm. Two, two okay, so the answer is 2cm. If you got that right, I'm very really proud of you. High five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. And we're going to move on to part B right now. Okay, part B is this. If the tank is now one quarter filled, how many more liters of water does Zach need to pour to completely fill in the tank? Very simple, okay? First off, you need to understand one thing. Right now, it's one quarter filled, and we found out that it was actually 8,000 cm cubed, or actually equals to 8 liters filled up, okay? 8 liters was one quarter. Now, this was similar to the question where we did about the, you know, the, the pie chart. If one, what was it? I think it was 1, 6 is equals to 120 skirts. Therefore, 6 over 6 gives you um, 720 skirts. In this case, it says 1 quarter equals to 8 liters. Therefore, one whole, or in other words, 4 over 4, is equal to what? 8 times 4, which gives you what? 32 liters. But now imagine, right now it is filled with 8 liters. But um, the total capacity is, how much he can fill up is 32. So the question is, how much more does he need to fill up? Therefore, you just take 32 minus 8, and you will get um, 24 24 liters, and that is the answer. Alternatively, if you already know how to do this, basically you just take 1 minus 1 quarter. In other words, full tank 
minus one quarter of the tank will give you three quarters of the tank. So if you know that one quarter gives you eight liters, three quarters is going to give you what? Eight times three, which gives you 24 liters. And it says easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> all right, cool, 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 cool. So now we're going to do is I'm going to make sure that you understand all the five questions. If you don't, please go back and watch the videos again. I've made it as as, as, as well as I can, and I know you can understand it. I know you're a math project. I know you're good, and we're gonna get make sure that we get ourselves an A star at the PSLE Foundation Math Exam. All right. And all you have to remember is for math, the more I practice, the easier it gets. The more I practice, the easier it gets. So don't forget. So please remember to practice this five times over on a daily basis. And next week when I see you, I'm gonna make sure I test you, and you're gonna get full marks. All right. And that is his coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.